Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Facebook land. How is everybody doing today? It's a bright, sunshiny day. I always want to break out in song, but, you know, who's going to listen, right? Anyways, it's 1230, and that means that you and I have an appointment. It is time to discuss it with Drake, and that will be moi. Welcome to episode number 118, and today's quick topic is going to be how to have a consistently clean home between you and me. Is that actually possible? And when I get closer like this, I'm really looking at my hair. I'm becoming gray. Anyways, before we get started, keep in mind, if you ever want to make sure that you don't miss an episode, please just go over to YouTube, hit subscribe when you get to, what is it? All together now, Drake's Real Estate TV, hit subscribe. That's right. And when you stop by, please say hello in the comments. Hi, Miss Lee, I can see you. Anyway, say hello in the comments. That way I know that you uh, stopped by and uh, you know, all that good stuff. So let's get started. Whether your house is on the market or if you're just preparing for showings or if you're like me and you just wanna have a home that feels clean and tidy, it's a lot of work, right? It is. So keeping your home consistently clean can feel like a full-time job, particularly when you have a family or a dog or dogs, okay? And if you've ever been someone's, have you ever been to someone's house and felt like it's always clean and you wonder what their secret is? They probably have a few, including some of these that I'm going to mention now. And yes, I would like to hire a maid, but no. So number one is we need to stop the marathon cleaning sessions, okay? What a lot of us do, and by us, I don't mean me, that makes us feel like we're never going to be able to keep up with the household chores is putting them all off and trying to do everything at once. For example, maybe clutter piles up all week and then on Saturday you tackle it. Well, I know I'm not tackling it on Saturday because I'm busy on Saturday. Anyways, that's fine but you could develop a negative relationship with cleaning. Or in my case, I like to say I'm allergic to cleaning uh, because it's always frustrating to tackle such a big project. So if you can make goals to clean your house a little at a time, it actually changes your habits and becomes just a natural part of your routine rather than a once in a while dreaded task, okay? So start to focus on things that you can do at the moment it might be smaller over time, but you know, over time it does make a difference. So then you won't get overwhelmed. And if you gradually add these things, you know, these small tasks into your day-to-day -day routine, you'll stop thinking about them as cleaning. You'll just think of them as something to do inherently in your day. So I'm gonna tell you something about the 2010 rule. So the 2010 rule is an approach that you can help you like stop being a marathon cleaner. So what you do is you use a timer to train yourself to do brief cleaning periods throughout the week. For example, you can set a timer for 20 minutes, you focus on cleaning something during those 20 minutes, and then you give yourself a 10 minute break to do whatever you want. And once that ends, you return to cleaning. So just do that for an hour. Okay. Make your beds every day. One of the best things you can do for yourself to feel mentally more in control of your day uh, and control of your home um, is to make your bed every day. Make it even on the weekends or even when you don't feel like it, which is about every day, right? So making your bed has an immediate impact. You can feel calmer knowing that at least one thing in your home is tidy, no matter, no matter what. So in fact, have you read the book, Make a Bed? It's actually amazing. And what's great about it is that it's a one day read, but you will get something out of it, I promise. This next one is something that I definitely struggle with every day. And that is put things away as soon as you're done using them, okay? So you touch it once. It sounds simple, but think about how many things you use throughout the day without putting them back. We do it unconsciously all the time. For example, maybe instead of putting something back in the drawer, you leave it on the countertop for the time being. You know, clothes is another example. You know, instead of hanging them up, you start throwing them on the floor, on your bed, Try to change that habit, okay? Things add up. And if you can consciously promise yourself you'll put everything back after you're done using it, 
you'll notice a real difference in your home. There's nothing, there's nothing to pick up because you didn't leave anything anywhere. I'm gonna work on that today. Another hint is do one room at a time, okay? When you do clean, focus on one room at a time because it gets overwhelming to tell yourself that you have to clean the entire house, okay? When you focus on one room at a time, it can be encouraging and help keep you motivated because you know that you can accomplish something. This next one is something that I am trying to work into my schedule, and that is have a schedule, okay? One way that people often find success in having consistently clean home is they have a schedule, okay? You can come up with something that works for you, but one way to do it is to do separate tasks day by day and do the same ones on the same day every week. For example, maybe Monday is for dusting and laundry. Well, Monday is definitely laundry day. In fact, I've got it right now. So I should go. I'll go in a few minutes. Anyways, Tuesday is for vacuuming and bathrooms. You can go on from there. But as long as you're doing more frequent cleaning, things have less of a chance to become big messes. And finally, and this is funny, you know, aim to do a load of laundry a day. That means washing it, folding it, and my nemesis, putting it away, okay? Laundry can create piles and messes all over the home if it gets out of hand. So taking control of those before they become problematic and keep floors and other areas tidier. I'm glad that you can't see the hallway right now because yes, there are piles, not for me. Anyways, maybe you come up with a routine for the load that you do every day. For example, you could put a load in the morning before leaving for the day, you put it in the dryer as soon as you get home, and then you put it away before bed. <laughs> Fat chance. Anyways, I gotta go, because I need to go, I, I got laundry to do, so I just wanna thank you for watching today. I hope you found it useful. I wanna give a shout out to Realty Times for giving me that information to provide you today. As always, please don't keep me secret. Is that my friend Henry? Hello Henry, how are you? Um, if there's a topic that you would like me to discuss in the future, just let me know and I will get it on the calendar. I hope that you have a fantastic week. The weather should be fabulous wherever you are. And don't forget to be kind to one another, okay? Don't forget to live, laugh, and most importantly, love. And until we see each other next week, when the next move matters, contact Drake for Homes. Thanks, everyone. See you later.